Okay. Uh, I have purchased a um, Yokomo bag. And I was uh, kind of disappointed that I didn't receive any type of manual with uh, proper assembly instructions. Um, so uh, I had to kind of just kind of wing it on my own, which it wasn't horribly hard, but I wanted to make a quick video on, uh, you know, putting the main components together, maybe to make things easier for uh, somebody else in the future, hopefully. So uh, you start by unboxing um, and taking out all, you know, everything in the bag. And uh, there's these side panels, after you unfold the bag and open it, there's side panels that you put in the bag that have two long Velcro strips on them. Um, you kind of set them in on an angle and press them up against these metal tabs that are on the sides of the bags um, that uh, position them in the appropriate place. In this picture here, I had already put in the left one and uh, I was putting in the right one. Um, now, uh, here I have uh, some of the shelving. So there's a couple shelves to put in. It has a Velcro on the end tabs that you see folded. I'm putting those in now with the end tabs facing up on the bag. So if the bag was standing on its wheels, the end tabs would be up. I found out later that the drawers actually fit a little bit snugger and a little bit better if you reverse those and install it with the Velcro tabs facing down. Um, it puts the shelves in the appropriate location so all the drawers fit um, pretty evenly. So um, something to keep in mind. Uh, another tip, make sure you're on a nice big flat table when putting in these shelves because it makes it a lot easier to line them up appropriately with not only the opening but, uh, uh, but with the Velcro uh, strips itself. Um, so we've got those in now. So I'm going to switch over to uh, putting together a drawer. This is a long drawer. It's a drawer that can fit um, probably a, you know, a 10th scale touring car. Um, and you'll notice I'm uh, kind of just playing around with the box here and pointing out uh, there's a double fold line there. A tip on those double fold lines, um, there's only you know one set of double fold lines on each drawer, but if you fold the inner line first, it is a heck of a lot easier to fold um, the second top line that I'm pointing at now um, because uh, once you fold the drawer over, it uh, has, uh, has a much easier time curling up over the uh, side supports. So um, I kind of just, uh, you know, was using my finger and going along and just kind of, uh, you know, supporting the drawer against the ground as I folded along the perforations. Um, just to kind of break them in a little bit before I started folding the box. Um, so you uh, will want to uh, consider um, definitely using a little bit bigger table than I did. I just, that's the space I had available at the time. So I, this is what I used. Um, you'll see here I'm kind of uh, lining up to just to kind of make sure my folds are even there and they, they appear to be so. Uh, then you fold in those side tabs that's on that, that outer flap. And if you see, there's little tabs that it makes um, on the bottom. And uh, those side tabs are where the sides of the box will actually uh, clip in um, and stay put. Um, now, there are uh, other, you know, other uh, pit bags, pit roller bags out there that... Uh, um, other manufacturers that actually provide some two-sided type, um, almost like a servo tape, um, to help uh, secure everything in place. Um, this Yokomo bag was a little bit less expensive, so um, it looks like they didn't, you know, include the servo tape um, or the two-sided tape to kind of help reinforce. So one thing I'm kind of looking at doing uh, in, in in a later time is just. Um, taking some two-sided, maybe some two-sided 3M tape and uh, just reinforcing those, uh, those folded, folded portions of the box together so that it's just a little bit uh, stronger because I could kind of see this popping apart at some time if uh, through, you know, with a lot of use and it's a pit bag so it's not going to be, you know, it's going to be treated somewhat roughly. Um, so. Uh, so you can see I'm still uh, kind of trying to get uh, get everything so it's folding nice and uh, 
and it you see here I'm folding the outer tab or the outer fold or flap or whatever you want to call it um, in to lock into the inner tabs but I'm just trying to make sure that uh, you know that my folds are semi crisp because it just would it's gonna make for a little bit uh, a little bit better um, fit and finish on the drawer I wanted everything to be as even as possible so it didn't uh, hinder it sliding inside and out so so here I am uh, on the uh, drawer I looks like I'm about to do the final fold here um, oh, looks so I uh, didn't quite uh, get that final fold done I'm messing around here a little bit with uh, with those tabs on the side, I guess I'm trying to decide whether or not uh, I should put both of them inside or one of them inside, and it's definitely one. Um, just the one inside that you fold in, and then you leave one one out for uh, for structural rigidity there. Um, and then the other side with the uh, handle, handle side is going to have two folded out, so um, for uh, for to make a nice strong front of drawer. So you know when you're yanking it in and out of the out of the pit bag, it uh, you know works uh, works well and is uh, you know strong. Um, you know it's uh, you know it's probably a, a weak point for uh, for use. You know over and over again, repetitive use. It'll probably be good to have that actually. It's just smaller drawer for parts and tools, um, but all the concepts on this drawer are exactly the same. Um, you have the double perforations that you fold along the double double uh, and uh, as you see here I'm trying to point out the perforations a little bit better and uh, show you that I fold the fold the inside one first because it's going to make it a lot easier when you bring that bring that tab around to uh, fold everything together and you can actually fold over the the actual box itself to make your second fold so see I'm, I'm kind of using the box as uh, as a straight edge uh wouldn't be a bad idea to have a straight edge but um i kind of felt like uh the uh the perforations uh you know were 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 deep enough to where i could just kind of help it along with uh with my thumb and and get it to uh to fold over there so um and here i am just kind of kind of evening out the folds there so i'd have a nice crisp line as crisp as i can get it um, and uh, now I'm folding in that one and just kind of testing it out to see how it comes together there, um, how it clips clips down. And this job could probably use a second set of hands, I would guess. But uh, you know, once you once you kind of break in your folds and stuff, it gets gets a little bit easier. So you see here, I'm folding that around to lock into the little lock the little tabs into the little tab holes that are created by by the folds. And it kind of fell apart again because I uh, needed a second set of hands, but I don't have a second set of hands. So, um, and there we go. You notice how there's the two two creases there that make the top flat. So, bring it around, flatten it out, lock it in. And we're doing the same thing with the other side, and it gets a lot easier once you have one side done because it doesn't stop, keep falling apart. There you go, all locked up. So now we're gonna look at uh, putting the drawers into the uh, the roller bag. So uh, now we have our uh, roller bag up on the little table there, and. Uh, Going to uh, open the flap. It was I have to unzip. Sorry about the uh, lighting here. It's things are kind of just disappearing into the bag there. But uh, I used all the lights I had to try to try to light the black bag up as much as I could, and it just uh, just couldn't get a good angle on it. But uh, my main concern really was uh, showing everyone how to get those drawers folded, um, or at least giving you an idea how to get them folded. Because uh, you know somebody that's never put one together or you know isn't into that kind of thing may maybe would like uh, to see a little bit of guidance on it so I'm putting in all the drawers now uh, those bottom two drawers could fit 10th uh, scale uh, touring cars and then there's uh, two for the top but uh, 
please refer back to uh, the beginning of the video when I talked about uh, putting in the shelves uh, to make sure that you install those shelves upside down to where I installed them because the drawers fit much much nicer so so thanks everybody uh, you know what to do it's a YouTube video um, also uh, probably posted on TikTok. wouldn't mind a like or two have a good day